I'd say it's kind of like a bunch of friends that actually get stuff done. <laughs> Chris is a leader. Uh, I, I think he honestly puts it best. Jump onto a rocket and we just kind of go. He has big dreams, but he's will go after them. Like he wants to build a game industry. Like it's not just like he wants to build up this company alone. Like he wants to build up an entire game, like empire in Ohio, which is also really, really cool. He's smart. He's the kind of person you want to impress. The kind of person who sees the potential in people. He's done a very good job of like keeping us as a company, getting us the right connections in a way that is beneficial to all parties. Hi baby, who's a good girl? He's an inspiring person to work for. He's heavily involved with two national charities, Extra Life and Able Gamers. He's also really involved in helping in the medical community with some of our products that we've delivered. We host Central Ohio Game Dev Group, or COG for short. We are the main organizers of GDEX. Which is, I think, probably the single biggest thing. I mean, it takes like a year's worth of planning and networking, and it's really cool. If we're going up, we want to bring our industry with us. Our main goal is to make Columbus the next hotspot when it comes to uh, game development. You know, there's there's nothing quite like it in the Midwest. Columbus is already a tech city, already has this great creative culture, and video games are just the natural extension of combining those two things. I think it's always been about finding novelty, and with games as interactive as they are, the potential for novelty is boundless. If I made something that has an impact on somebody emotionally, or makes them think about life, that's a lot more important to me than having their loyalty as a customer. I'd rather, I'd rather have their loyalty as a consumer of the arts.